Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how to customize your control surface by remapping the keys on it. Let's take a look. So here we are in our TC1 interface and I have just four inputs uh, at the top and then underneath I have my virtual sets on MEs 1, 2, and 3. Now if we look over at our control surface here, I mean we have everything that we need just going down the list of our inputs and but let's say I don't ever really use like graphics, you know, one and two here, and I want to then move my mix effects over to graphics one and two. So what we need to do that is let's go ahead and exit out of this session. And we'll go all the way back to our main menu here. And under add-ons, we will select new tech control surfaces. All right. Wait for that to low, and then we'll go into mappings here. Now you can assign this to whatever control surface that you have plugged into your TriCaster, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and select the uh, TC1L, which is my TC1 long panel. That is what I have on my desk here. And so now what I want to do is I want to put my mix effects over here where my graphics one and two are. So let's go ahead and we'll move those here. So those are titled V1s, basically buttons 20, 21, 23. Let's move them over to uh, 18 and 19 here. So I'll go ahead and grab that, go into 18, V2 into 19, and oops, that into number 20. So what we'll go ahead and do is save these mappings, and let's go back into the session that I have. All right, now that we're back in our session, let's go ahead and take a look at our control surface. So now if I go ahead and press the graphics buttons here on my control surface, you'll see that my mix effects now change. Now, all right, well, those, that's cool and all, but now those don't look the same as what I have on my control surface. It still says graphics one and graphics two. So easy way to do that, you can grab yourself a flathead screwdriver and gently, very gently, just pop these keys off here and then basically rearrange them how you see fit. Now the nice thing about this is even if you ch hit these buttons on your uh, preview row or program, it still corresponds to the changes that you've made on the TriCaster. So as you can see, this is a good way to customize your interface. So if you want to move buttons around and have it a little more tailored to your production, that's the way to do it. Now, if you like this demonstration, you want a little bit more, make sure you go to newtech.com slash demo, where you can sign up for a personalized demonstration, and I'll show you the ins and outs of the TriCaster system. Until then, thank you for watching, and be sure to tune in next time for another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.